Hey everybody. In this video, I am going to talk about how to form triads from the modes. So it's somewhat of a follow-up video to the one I posted about uh, the modes themselves. So just as we, you know, if you go back to the previous videos, I, I, I talked about um, major scales and minor scales and how to build triads from those scales. And so the same thing, what we'll do is we'll build triads from the modes and we will determine if a mode is major or minor. And so it's just kind of that next step after you figure out a scale, it's great to figure out the triad um, that, that, uh, that pertains to that scale. And then you can start building chords uh, from different modes, different scales, or if you see us something or hear about something or a musician asks you about okay well do you need you know this is in dorian mode mixolydian uh you will be able to uh think of that mode and and and, and come up with something for for that situation play a bass line or improvise a melody or whatever is needed so um the previous video i started on c major <laughs> And what we did is we played a mode uh, for all of the notes of, of C major or all the notes of the modes that are uh, natural. So none of the notes in any of these modes are um, have sharps or flats. It's just all natural. And I started from every note of the C major scale. So the first mode is our Ionian mode or major scale and what we do is we just pick the first third and fifth note of that scale Ionian mode major scale it's in a previous video root third fifth it's the first third and fifth note of that scale in this case C E G thinking of intervals C two whole steps to E, a step and a half to G. So the triad that fits with an Ionian mode or a major scale is a major triad. So like I said, uh, and before like Ionian term, the term Ionian is not used much because it's all it is is a major scale. Okay, so this, the next mode, we're starting off the second, uh, second scale degree of D uh, of C, which is D, uh, that is a Dorian mode. So we're beginning on the second scale degree of C major, which is D. I'm playing D to D, no sharps, no flats, and that builds a Dorian mode. And once again, you can think of them as it relates to C major, or you can think of them independently, uh, whatever makes most sense to you. And then depending on the si musical situation that you're in, uh, then you have the ability to either think of it independently as it relates to a key, as it relates to a different mode, or if, if you do something entirely different with it. So uh, D, Dorian, D to D, all natural notes. If I pick the first note of that, that mode, which is D, third note, which is F, fifth note, which is A, D, F, A, that builds a minor triad, D, F, A, so you know that a minor triad will fit with a Dorian mode, in this example it's D, so D, Dorian, D, uh, minor triad. Up to our third mode uh, is Phrygian. In this case, in this example, we're starting on E. E to E, all natural notes. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. If I pick the first, third, and fifth, E, F, G, and then the third, uh, that G is the third, fifth. minor 
inner triad fits with the Phrygian mode. In this uh, example, it's E. So if it's E Phrygian, E minor triad. Because that's the first, third, and fifth note of that mode. Fourth mode is Lydian. I should say the fourth mode that we're, our, our example is F from C major. And if you go F to F, all natural notes, that builds the mid, the Lydian mode. F to F, all natural notes. And if we pick the first, third, and fifth notes of that mode, F, A, and C, that builds a major triad. So F Lydian. triad fits uh, Lydian mode. Okay, the next mode. In our example now, we're starting on G because it's the fifth letter after C. C, D, E, F, G. G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. G, F, E, D, C, B, A, G. And uh, that's just G to G, all natural notes. Take the first, third, and fifth note of that mode. G is the first note, A is the second, B is the third, C, and D is the fifth. So we have G, B, and D. So a major triad fits a mixolydian mode. Next one is letter A. A to A, all natural notes. Builds a minor scale, and the fancy uh, term for that is Aeolian. So if you ever hear the term Aeolian, that refers to minor scale. And if we take the first, third, and fifth note of that mode, that will just build A, C, E, which is A. A minor triad, a root note, step and a half, two whole steps, A minor. Uh, the next one, B to B, all natural notes, B, C, D. This one's going to be a little bit different than anything that I've talked about previously. So B to D is a minor third. We know that from, that's a step and a half. We know from the interval video that uh, B to D, uh, that pattern uh, on a bass is a minor third. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go up another minor third to F because that B is the first note of that mode, D is the third note, and F natural is the fifth note of that mode. So we have B, D, and F. B to D is a minor third, and then D to F is another minor third, which is a step and a half. So you can play D to B, or sorry, sorry, B to D, D to F. And the term that is used for that triad is diminished. So it's, that is neither major nor minor, that is diminished. So if you take a root note, which is B in this example, up a minor third, which is D, up a minor third, which is F, we build a diminished triad. And after that, the next note that we have been building modes on is letter C, and that takes us back to C major. C is the first note, E is the third note. G is the fifth note, so we end, back, end up on C major. So a very quick review. C Ionian, or C major, is a major triad. Dorian uses, if you pick the first, third, and fifth note of 
the Dorian becomes minor, Phrygian, minor, F Lydian, F A C A F, major, Mixolydian, G B, G major triad, so major triad fits Mixolydian. It's Aeolian or minor scale. Diminished triad fits the Locrian mode. And then you back to major. So major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished, back to major. And it's great to, once again, Think of these in relationship to a key. You can practice all these starting on different keys. If you go to the uh, video I posted on um, the 12 major keys, you can apply these note these modes to all 12 major keys. You can uh, practice these modes, uh, different finger patterns, uh, different ways up and down the neck. The notes are in different patterns, you can do that. The triads can be played in different patterns. The triads can be played up and down the neck in, in many octaves and different finger patterns. And I will get into those in, in later videos. But this is just kind of an introduction, uh, first of all, to the modes, and then the quality of the modes, meaning major, minor, uh, diminished, and what triads fit the modes. So. Hopefully this maybe will open up some doors and uh, you know, get you looking at the fingerboard in a different way. Or if you've been working on any tunes, maybe it'll help you know get you to help write a melody or a chord progression that fits. So just kind of take that information and use it in in any way that uh, you can to be creative and have fun. So that was building triads from all the modes and like i said i will follow up with uh, this in, in in more videos and how to apply everything so have fun with that and until next time